welcome to Princess Tacha Tarot. Today's reading, we are going to see what is coming in for you energetically in 72 hours. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and from my observation, sometimes these things are just preparing themselves to come into your life. Now, let us take a deep cleansing breath so we can be ready to receive these messages. In front of you, there are three beautiful pictures. Let's see what's coming in for you guys energetically in the next 72 hours. Group number one, you have gentleness. Group number two, you have decluttering. Group number three, you have on fire. Go ahead to the timestamps below and I'll see you on your reading. Hi, group number one. Welcome to Princess Tacha Tarot. And since you're picking gentleness, this is your reading. And let's see what's coming in for you guys energetically in the next 72 hours. And let us all take a deep cleansing breath so we can be ready to receive these messages. And like I said this, um, this is a general reading group number one. Whenever you watch it, that's when 72 hours period start. And also, I have noticed that sometimes these are like the energy that are happening behind the scene that is going to come into your life after 72 hours period is happening. But not right in front of you right now. And for others of you, you are going through uh, something like this right now. And also group number one, sometimes these are just energies that are playing out behind the scenes and you are getting a glimpse of what is happening behind the scenes to come in for you. Maybe to just prepare you for it to come in and others of you, you are going through it. And these are just like advice to get you through the situation. For you group number one, I got this energy of gentleness in in the next 72 hours and this reading is timeless so whenever you watch this reading that's when the next 72 hours period start with the gentleness energy here group number one um i get this kind of like energy that um a complex things happening uh, in your life okay um, there is this mix of emotions uh, that you will experience in the next 72 hours. Some of you are going to feel a little bit overwhelmed with a lot of obligations, okay? Some of you are going to feel a little bit overwhelmed due to so many homework or even uh, jobs from the office. But with this kind of a message of gentleness your angels really want you to be gentle to yourself because group number one beating yourself up will only cause you to retract your beautiful light instead of embracing your learning and personal growth journey so in the next 72 hours and the next time you make a mistake or you feel like you're not doing good enough, please use gentleness instead of force. Whenever you feel like you're just not doing enough, look in the mirror and tell to yourself that you are human, that your soul is growing and your soul is learning. Now, whether you are not entirely satisfied with where you are in your career or there's this procrastination or struggle with your uh, effort in life, which is normal. Everyone experiences that up and down uh, in life. 
focus on how you can use a gentle and loving approach to get yourself back on track. That's the message from your angels, group number one. When the things go out of your control, focus on reminding yourself that there is nothing you can do about it. So there is no point in beating yourself up. This is often the case when other people are involved in your work, in your project, in your career. Okay? There is some external factors that you cannot control. And the thing that you can do is loving yourself by being gentle. By um, don't be too hard on yourself. And don't work too hard. Group number one. The message for you in the next 72 hours is to love who you are and treat yourself with care and gentleness regardless of anyone else's opinion. Okay, group number one. We all are doing our best to reach our next level of self-growth, of soul growth. And regardless of anyone else's opinion, you are the one that's going to be with yourself. And the angels want to give you a message of gentleness, that you're taking care of yourself, That you just set small goals each day instead of feeling like you have to do it all in one go. Group number one. Okay? You also have here purge. This is from the Sit and Sickle Tarot Cards. With the birch, the birch tree is beloved by many for its pure but determined energy. So I truly get this energy of determination in the next 72 hours in your life, group number one. There is this um, strength that you get. to overcome um, the challenges, to overcome the obstacles. In the next 72 hours, you're going to feel the air of strength. You're going to get some sort of strength from your angels to give you some sort of determination, resilience, to actually overcome your own unique challenges. This birch card group number one actually is encouraging you to focus on your determination, focus on your strength. With this card, in the next 72 hours, I truly see there is a new chapter in your life that is beginning for you. There is this energy of a new chapter, the energy of beginning. Because the birch tree is beloved by many for its pure but determined energy. It is also one of the first trees to grow leaves in the spring and the first to grow back when an area of woodland is cleared. And you are in your spring energy. You are being influenced by the spring energy, group number one. Now, a new chapter in the next 72 hours is truly really beginning for you. Now, Potentially, one that you thought was your obstacles, one that you thought was your challenges, but that new beginning actually giving you some strength, letting you to practice some sort of resilience and determination to show some sort of determination in your field. Now let you enter the new 
chapter of your life with confidence with this card because this card is encouraging you to be more confident looking to your strength as a weapon to move forward in the next 72 hours Group number one, you have all must have prizes. There is this energy about you um, really want to make other people happy in the next 72 hours. Let's say you really want to help your parents financially or your sibling or even your loved ones or your spouse. I also see this energy you want to treat with some sort of either food, restaurant, coffee, tea, snacks, or a trip. So there's this energy about you want to please everyone. Now, in the next 72 hours, I want you to embrace that good qualities about you that you really want to just make everyone happy. You know, you're trying to please everyone. That's the energy about you here, group number one, in the next 72 hours. However, please know that all must have prices. That there is this, the things that you're going to spend, either money or energy, whenever you want to please everyone. But know that every good deeds will come back to you so many times. I truly see the energy of you really want to be the light in people's life. You know, with words of motivation, with charity, donation. You also want to please your boss, supervisor, manager by doing the work really well. So that's I also see here in the next 72 hours. Know that good energy that you put into the universe will come back to you in a good energy too, maybe in different forms, not always have to be from the same person. Please know that whatever it is that you do for people, for nature, for your surrounding, you do it to God, you do it to the universe, and it will come back to you with good things that happen in your life. But in the middle of it, I still want you to remember to also pampering yourself, to also um, please yourself, to also make yourself happy and be gentle to yourself. Group number one. Group number one, I also see here nurturance in the next 72 hours. Group number one, is there an aspect of your being that has been calling for your attention? Because in the next 72 hours, I see this energy about you being aware of something that you need to take care in your life. Okay, you kind of need to restore your balance in your life. With this card, Goddess comes to you today asking you to check in with yourself. Are your mind, body, and spirit in balance? Or is there one part of you that you have been neglecting? My dear group number one, perhaps your pursuits in life have led you to nourish and care for two of these elements while the other one has been left behind and forgotten. Check in with yourself in the next 72 hours. Are your mind, body, and spirit in balance? Or is there one part of you that you have been neglecting? Because my dear group number one, in the next 72 hours, without nurturing the mind, the spirit 
and body will not have knowledge and wisdom to steer their choices towards compassionate conclusions in a very complicated world that we live in today. Now, without nurturing the body, a keen mind and enriched spirit will be trapped inside a vehicle that does not serve them well. And without you nurturing the spirit, the mind and body will be unable to connect with divine love and beauty and life will feel hollow and virtue. So I want you to check in with yourself and ask yourself whether you are neglecting your mind, your body or spirit are all already in balance. Because there's this energy about you want to feel whole. I truly see in the next 72 hours here, group number one. Now, once you have recognized which aspect of your being needs more attention, give it all the care it needs, group number one. Take small steps and be kind to yourself. Feeding the parts of yourself that have been forgotten may take patience. In the fullness of time, your mind, body, and spirit will resonate as one. Yes. Nurture yourself, group number one, and your balance will be restored so that you will be in harmony with yourself and the flow of life. One way that you can do it is by, by writing down in your journal some ways that you might nurture it. Okay, group number one. And for an example, okay, for the mind, perhaps make time for more reading or consider taking a course or meditation or pray if you have some sort of religion or if you have some sort of spiritual practices that you follow, do the spiritual practices. And for the body, Maybe you can go swimming or go to the gym or just dancing at home or yoga or exercise session like walk, walk in the nature or in your neighborhood or spending time in the nature uh, or simply actually making time to be still and allowing your angel. to light your spiritual wings, group number one. Group number one, you have here protection. Your angels want to let you know in the next 72 hours, whenever you watch this, the 72 hours period start, and your angels want to let you know that you are divinely protected. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Know that you are divinely loved and divinely protected. Group number one. You have here six of pentacles. You have here nine of swords. You have here eight of cups. You have here queen of swords. And you have here the ace of wands. With the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, and Ace of Wands, there is this beginning of feeling more aware of your well-being, I truly see, in the next 72 hours. With the Six of Pentacles, there is this energy about your family, Maybe your family will contact you. 
you will call your parents, your parents will call you, you get some sort of message from your family, or you really want to help your family financially. Truly the energy of being uh, generous wants to give. Now, it's not only just to family, but also to other people, maybe to some sort of spiritual cause that you believe or social cause that you believe. You want to donate. You want to nurture your neighbor or your organization. When the Six of Pentacles coming in conjunction with all must-have prices, trying to please everyone, this reading is pretty accurate for you, group number one, telling me, showing me that in the next 72 hours, some of you truly going to give your resources, going to share your blessings, going to share the knowledge, going to share the wisdom. But more so, this is about material blessings, finance, money, gift. But also, the, the energy of Six of Pentacles is also about receiving. So in the next 72 hours, you will receive some sort of money, some sort of help for some of you. And it comes from your family, from your loved ones, or from your organization. Some of you truly going to receive also a paycheck or payment about something. There is this energy about give and receive. And that's also not just applied to financial. This is also can apply to energy. There is this a mutual connection that you will have with someone. And the energy between you and this person is just so flowing. There is this give and take energy. There is this give and receiving energy. Now, it is possible that this relationship is the platonic one or business relationship because it's related to Six of Pentacles. A pentacles energy, material energy. You're going to contact with someone. They're going to bring you some sort of luck. You guys going to have some sort of um, agreement to work together, a collaboration, or even this is related to your colleagues, office work, or even boss or supervisor or manager. Okay. In the next 72 hours, with the Nine of Swords here, I truly see some of you um, going to get some sort of synchronicities through your dreams. You're going to get message from the Divine, from angels. Through your dreams, you're going to dream some things. Some of you truly need to take rest, to sleep well. There is this feeling a little bit worried of your work and you are such a hardworking person. I understand that. But please know that in the next 72 hours, it is important for you to sleep well, to check in with yourself, whether your mind, body, and spirit is in balance so you can sleep well and have a good rest. Drink more water to group number one. With the Eight of Cups, in the next 72 hours, there is this shifting of energy, a changing in energy, okay? There is some of you thinking about relocating to a new place. There is also some of you thinking about changing jobs or applying to new jobs. There's also the energy about you changing hearts or thinking about getting to know somebody else just to see how this relationship is going to work for you. Now, some of you also very curious to visit new place in summer or um, sometimes in the middle of the month or in the middle of the year, okay? With the Eight of Cups, in the next 72 hours, your angel wants to give you a message to follow your curiosity, to go with the flow and be open to wherever the tides may take you because change can be good for you. Some of you are also thinking about trying new restaurant or trying new coffee shops in town or where you live. Change can be good, group number one. That's the message for you. With the Queen of Swords here, group number one. The Queen of Swords is strong, truthful, and resourceful. There is this energy of a very strong Queen of Swords here, regardless of your gender and your age. I truly see 
Queen of Swords is ambitious in nature and direct in conversation. So in the next 72 hours, you're going to have some sort of direct conversation with someone. Or some of you are going to have a job interview or uh, office meeting that require you to share your knowledge or share your project. Or if you're already retired, there is some sort of direct conversation, direct communication that you're going to have with your friend, with the people around you, or even with your loved ones. There is also this energy of very ambitious. Queen of Swords is just so strong. Especially this month, uh, whenever Sun going to enter Gemini. And Swords is the air, air energy. Gemini is air energy. There is this air energy of very ambitious. Okay? And I truly see in the next 72 hours, the strength again, because the Queen of Swords also symbolizes strength. The strength again going to come up. There is this air of strength, air of ambitious that coming from you, group number one. That you truly just want to give more strength to the people around you. To give that strength also to yourself. And rely more on your strength. Okay? With the Ace of Wands here, group number one. In the next 72 hours, you are in the beginning of a delightful, prosperous chapter of your life. There is this excitement that you get. There is this air of motivation, feeling very motivated, feeling very hopeful. It's related to your career. It's related to travel and just beginning about something. There is these possibilities that you're going to see in the next 72 hours. And you could use that moment to truly start a new business, start a family, start a new relationship, or start a side hustle, or start a new hobby. Some of you truly going to thinking about traveling. So again, the card of travel is in your path in the next 72 hours the card about because ace energy is the beginning okay the ace energy is the beginning so you begin to plan your travel you begin to save money for traveling you begin to prepare yourself for the new chapter in your life you begin to think more of investing in yourself related to your career you beginning to study more so you can be more prepared whenever the new job knocking on your on your door Okay, there is this just the new energy, the beginning, the ace of one, ace is the beginning, and once is the fire energy. I truly see some of you have some sort of fire sign in your birth chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, air sign in your birth chart, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and also earth sign in your birth chart, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? With this Ace of Wands, truly there's this sense feeling of you want to start something new. You really want to focus the energy in the next 72 hours to something that is lack. Some of you maybe also lack inspiration, lack motivation. And thinking about going somewhere is also good for you. So you're going to start to save more money or start to plan your trip because the Ace of Wands is the card about beginning. The card about career and also travel. Okay, group number one. All right, my dear group number one, that's your reading for today. Um, this is general reading and this is timeless. So whenever you watch this, the next 72 hours period is starting. May you always be blessed. I'm Princess Tacha. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to Princess Tacha Taro. And since today you are drawn to group number two or picture that said decluttering, then this is your reading, okay? Um, let's find out what's coming in for you guys energetically in the next 72 hours and let us all take a deep cleansing breath so we can be ready to receive these messages 
And like I said before, this is a general reading. Whenever you watch it, group number two, that's when 72 hours period start. And also, I have noticed that sometimes these are like the energy that are happening behind the scenes that is going to come into your life after 72 hours period is happening. But not right now in front of you. And for others of you, um, these are just messages that actually are playing out behind the scenes and you are getting a glimpse of what is happening behind the scenes to come in for you. Maybe to just prepare you for it to coming in and others of you, you are going through it. And these are just like advice to get you through the situation. All right, a group number two. You have here the cluttering. I really love this picture. Very gorgeous, very beautiful. With this card, in the next 72 hours, um, and this reading is timeless. So whenever you watch this video, then the next 72 hours period start. I got this energy from um, this group number two that in the next 72 hours, there is this serious decluttering time time for some serious decluttering and freeing of space in your life you're gonna get a, some sort of air of freedom that you want to achieve that you want to get that you want to surround yourself with when your environment is clean and free of unnecessary items group number two you are better able to focus and concentrate on the task at hand and i'm saying this is about decluttering your room, your office space, your table, your living space or your home, or even decluttering your mind. Now with this card, you no longer need to spend heaps of time looking for things or working your way around the clutter you accumulated over the years. And it's, it also applies to something that you keep in your mind as well as physical life. Make sure that you keep only what matters or what bring you joy. Be honest and stern with yourself during this process, group number two. And while you evaluate each item in question and ask yourself, do I really need this? Does this bring me joy? How will not having this item any longer affect my life, if at all? You know, ask those questions to yourself and be honest when you answer that questions. That also apply to some things that you've been uh, keeping inside your mind and inside your heart. Now, instead of focusing on what you are giving up, Focus on the space you are creating for yourself, your productivity, and the things you cannot and do not want to live without, okay? So that's the energy that I got from your group for the next 72 hours. There is this very common feeling of attachment towards material objects. Well, it is not just about the stuff, you know, it's not just about material object. Sometimes that items, the items you get attached to represent feelings and memories. You know, maybe this is some, some stuff from old stuff, gifts from someone that was just so old. It bring back the memories. Okay, group number two. Sometimes there can be feelings of guilt when deciding whether or not to keep something we spent a lot of money on, even though we ended up never using it, okay? Some of us sometimes just bought a lot of different things, just purchased a lot of different things that through times um, we're keeping it up and we spend money early on to get that stuff. But in the end, we don't use that much. Okay, we become attached to the story of who this item could help us become or how it might help our lives. Now, observing your emotions when decluttering your space can truly reveal how much 
you are going through on a deeper level. You know, you be able to understand the emotion uh, deeply, be able to understand the connection that you have with someone uh, that gave you the stuff or uh, with the memories that you had in the past. Now, see that the action of reorganization and cleaning your space as a way not only to declutter, but also as a way to create a healthy attachment towards the material aspects of your life okay but also to the things that you keep inside your mind and in your head whether that's really going to give you some sort of motivation uh, well whether this going to give you some sort of uh good vibes okay so then you will learn healthy attachment and that's the energy that i got from you group number two okay You have here Wisteria. Very beautiful. Okay, group number two. With Wisteria, Wisteria are slow to set out their leaves in spring waiting until the weather is perfect before jumping to life in the next 72 hours there is this feeling of um introspective you know you really want to um truly ask your soul and there is this energy about you asking yourself whether you truly ready to launch the things that you've been thinking about or your project your creation you're truly uh, creating new strategy for uh, your next uh, performance for your next coming out or for your next project or for your next work or for your next investment now when you are drawn to group number two and you have this wisteria card in your reading this card is truly a reminder to trust your instinct. There is this energy about you getting some sort of intuition, synchronicities, signs, and message from your angels through dreams, through synchronicities that you see daily, okay? This is truly a reminder, this card, to let you know that your angels want you to trust your intuition and listen to your inner voice before making a decision. Okay, listening to your inner voice, meaning that you're listening to your soul, being in alignment with the soul mission, and truly ask your intuition before you make a decision. Group number two. I truly see the energy of you want to be still because there is this power in stillness and in waiting, truly waiting the right moment while you preparing yourself, while you being ready for the next opportunities knocking on your door. In the meantime, you keep studying, you keep leveling up, you keep investing inside yourself, you keep cleaning, okay? Um, and you keep clearing the space in your mind for something new to come into your life. There is this energy about you in the next 72 hours that you want to surround yourself with something that bring you relaxation, something that can make you be still and connect with your intuition. In the next 72 hours, you somehow feel that other people around you seems like moving fast, faster than you. But it's actually your power to wait the right moment. And you will know when the time is right for you to take action. Okay? So there is this message of following the intuition, the art of waiting, and be patient in the process. And truly trust your journey. Trust your intuition. Okay, group number two. You have here the right way. Learning to create what you desire. With this card 
And when this card the right way, this is about Alice in Wonderland, okay, group number two. But when this card the, the right way, coming in conjunction with, with Wisteria, it's truly safe to say that this reading pretty accurate for you because the message behind the card the right way is actually what Wisteria want to achieve, what Wisteria want to get. Okay, what the card of Wisteria wants to lead you to, to the right way, by waiting, by asking yourself, by asking your intuition. Okay, because with the right way, this is about you learning to create what you desire. In order for you to find what it is that you desire, you need to really take time not to be in a rush, but truly ask yourself and answer honestly. Because everyone here born with their own different mission, different obstacles, different challenges, different lessons. And there is a reason why you are attracted to the energy of group number two. At this point in time, your angels want to let you know that you actually already on the right path. And it's your ability to truly be patient in the progress, you know, to truly wait and truly create the right way, the right path ahead in front of you. With learning to create what you desire is to truly being honest to yourself. Because so many people uh, will not have the strength or courage to follow what they desire. They, they feel afraid of the world to judge them. Now, despite whatever people said, you need to be true to yourself. You need to always be honest with yourself because only by then you're truly going to understand that the right way is actually in front of you. Okay, with the cluttering also, also, when the card appear in conjunction with the right way, it is also one to let you know that when one door closed, another door opens. When one door closed, doesn't mean it will be closed forever too. That's why it is important to wait. It is important not to be in a rush. It is important to ask yourself whether this truly the thing that you want to achieve in life, whether this truly the thing that you want to experience in life, that your soul so desire. Group number two. And how you can learn to create what you desire is by learning about yourself, you know. When you are willing to admit your strength, to acknowledge your strength, your weakness, and use your strength more so in creating something that truly makes you happy, you know, and follow the path that truly makes you smile, make you happy, make you feel alive, and that's that's my dear group number two. That's learning to create what you desire. You know, regardless of your age, it's never too late to pursue your dreams, to pursue your desire. It, it doesn't always have to be grandiose or big things or majestic things. Most of the time, all that majestic things, all that grandiose, all that big things, all that fabulous things coming from something that is small. But that small thing's always being nurtured. So whenever you feel small uh, about something, do not be discouraged, but believe in yourself. Have faith to create the right way you need faith. You need that faith in the divine. You need faith in God. You need faith in your angels, that they will guide you, that they will give you um, signs, guides, messages through dreams, through prayers, through meditation, through your spiritual practices. Learning to connect with your soul mission and align yourself with your soul mission truly going to guide you on the path in front of you. Group number two, that's the message from the angels in the next 72 hours. Okay. You also have here, love your body. This is a very beautiful message. Regardless of your gender and regardless of your age, 
there is this message from the goddess to love your body. Okay. Let your beauty radiate out. Let your handsome radiate out. This is talking about the Hindu goddess, Rati, delights in her unique beauty and calls you to do the same. You are divinely gifted with a sensual sensitivity and Rati encourage you to find pleasure in these sacred gifts. So in the next 72 hours, there's this feeling of you embracing your sensuality, embracing your beauty, embracing your handsome, embracing your natural beauty and natural awesomeness. This is about divine feminine energy flows in you. Everyone has their own divine feminine and divine masculine. And we're talking about the divine feminine energy that right now are flowing in you. And let that energy be expressed and felt with delight. Group number two, you are, are such a divine beauty. Your body is a miracle of creation. Let goddess express her wonder through you. Take care of your beautiful body, group number two, you know, by decluttering, watch what you eat, drink more waters, and take rest. It is a miracle of creation. There has never been a body like yours before, and there never will be again. No other human has a body that has seen, felt, touched, tasted, or heard in quite the same way as yours. Now this card, Rati, Rati is here today on this video because it is time for you to celebrate the miraculous gift that is your body, your own unique vessel for exploring the richness of the world. In the next 72 hours, there's this message, the energy that you want to create friendship with your body. There is this energy that radiates outwards into the world, you know, from your body. Now, your energetic body does not stop at your skin. It's truly really all of part of your body. Each day, group number two, you can choose to focus on and give that sense a treat, you know, focus on your senses, focus on the smile, on the touch, on the feeling. Be filled with gratitude for this sacred gift, which is your body. Be grateful for your body, because your body do a lot of different things for you. Okay, take yourself out into nature and treat yourself to the vision of nature, to the smell of nature, to the hear of nature. And let the goddess gifted colors of the natural world lift your spirits and be filled with gratitude. Okay, so there is this energy of gratitude, especially to your body, to your physical being. Okay, group number two. You have here music. Listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music you hear. So in the next 72 hours, your angels want to let you know that they're going to send some sort of message, synchronicity, sign through music. So maybe in the next 72 hours or whenever after you watch this video, you are being called to listen music or you accidentally listen to some music. There is a message behind that music, behind the lyric. Music can truly lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door. Okay. Maybe you will also create music or play musical instrument or music going to be very important in role in your life in the next 72 hours because your angel is going to send messages, synchronicities, and signs and communicate with you through music. The music that you hear, the lyric behind it, the music behind it, okay? So I want you to be uh, aware and pay attention and you may uh, get that message 
and synchronicities from your angels through music in the next 72 hours group number two you have here temperance you have here the emperor You have here the Fool. You have here Eight of Wands. And you have here Two of Swords. Group number two. In the next 72 hours with the Fool, there is this energy about you um, entering into something new, a new way of thinking, okay? Uh, the energy of uh, the Fool itself, when you got the Fool card, it actually want to let you know, your angels want to let you know that there is this change coming into your life. And that change doesn't always have to translate into transformation. No, 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 okay? It could be there is the change in energy surrounding you. And please be mindful that this reading is timeless. So whenever you watch this, the next 72 hours uh, period start. And also this about the energy that happening behind you, okay? And you're going to get this glimpse of what about to happen in your life. Now, the world may sometimes call you foolish with the fool card. But it takes courage to commit to the path of full soul growth. Everyone is a beginner. It takes a beginner and it takes courage to truly enjoy the process. This card is about starting new and once again, marching to the gentle beat of your heart's desire, no matter where you are in your life journey right now, group number two. And with the temperance card, this is your angel wants to let you know that you are protected, okay? That you are protected spiritually, that you are protected energetically, that there is guidance and help from the angels come in your life. That you need to be patient whenever you start this something new. That still feel new to you, new skill, new talent, new problems, new project, new case, new challenges. You know, whenever you see something new that you never experienced before, whenever you need to handle something new, your angels really want you to be patient because you are divinely protected with the emperor this is your angel letting you know that the emperor is about wearing your power really well the ultimate masculine energy of the deck this is the card of you Having this energy of trusting the divine, trust God, trust your angels, that they direct your life, that they plan your life really well, that the divine, your creator, the universe, your angels, God, encourage you to master the skill that you have right now, to master the knowledge that you have right now. So in the next 72 hours, I truly see this, the energy of you wants to truly um, study more or getting more knowledge or even practice more or even just dive deep into the things that you are doing right now and believes that trusting the good, nurturing the determination, and gaining wisdom through experience will set you on the path to being a mighty leader like the emperor, okay? So you're gonna go to some sort of journey here with the fool, that the journey itself require patience, require you to show determination, to actually form your soul and your personality to prepare you to be this emperor 
And with the eight of wands, like I said before, you might feel that other people move faster than you, but in fact, you also move fast. Behind the scenes, there is this energy of the eight of wands, very fast energy. Some of you truly have um, fire sign in your birth chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or even water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your birth chart, okay? With the Eight of Wands, here's this, there's this energy um, in you that I feel that truly coming faster. The blessing coming faster behind the scene. The breakthrough coming faster behind the scenes. And only by you try to align yourself with the Eight of Wands energy, it will then come into your physical life. So in the next 72 hours, have some sort of meditation or prayer or spiritual practices or be still to actually align yourself with your soul calling to make that energy coming faster to you. So then you will, for some reason, understand the lesson behind it the lesson behind the fool, the lesson behind the situation that you are facing or about to face. And so then you will be skillful. You will master it like the emperor. With the two of swords, there is this energy in the next 72 hours that you are more than likely need to use your brain, your mind, your heart to make decision to make a choice. Now, when the Two of Swords coming in conjunction with Wisteria, with the right way, this reading is pretty accurate for you, group number two, because this telling us that in order to make a good decision, you need to actually follow your heart. It truly takes time, okay? Don't be in a rush. So that's the message for you in the next 72 hours. Truly carefully asking yourself whether this is something that you truly want in the next future. And make decision based on your intuition, your heart, but also your brain. So make it balanced with this temperance. You're being asked to be patient, but also balance it between the mind and the heart. Whenever you try to make decision, make choice, and this is the time to make a choice or in the next 72 hours whenever you watch this video. All right, group number two, that's your reading for today. Uh, please like my video, give me thumbs up. And also, if you like this content, subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any future readings for me, from me. Check out my uh, playlist if you want because I have so many pick a card reading videos. All my readings are timeless that you will absolutely love it. Thanks for watching group number two and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Hello, group number three. Since you're picking on a fire or picture number three, then this is your reading, okay? So let's see what's coming in for you guys, group number three, energetically in the next 72 hours. And let us all take a deep cleansing breath so we can be ready to receive these messages, okay? Group number three. Like I said this before, this is a general reading. Whenever you watch it, that's when 72 hours period start. And also, I have noticed that sometimes these are like the energy that are happening behind the scene that is going to come into your life after 72 hours period is happening, but not right in front of you right now. And for others of you, you might going through of this right now okay these are just energies that are playing out behind the scenes and you are getting a glimpse of what is happening behind the scenes to come in for you maybe to just prepare you for it to coming in and others of you you are going through it and these are just like advice to get you through the situation all right a group number three you have here on fire on fire right off the bat some of you truly have this very fiery energy and um you have more than likely have uh, aries leo sagittarius in your birth chart sun moon rising capricorn um or also earth sign capricorn taurus virgo okay doesn't have to be that way but in the next 72 hours, there is this energy from the fire, 
fiery energy you know that is gonna influence your life gonna influence yourself okay group number three let's find out the deeper meaning of this card with the card on fire in the next 72 hours group number three um i get this energy that truly uh, something fire something full of passion something that truly gonna spark the room have you ever noticed group number three how listening to the right song or wearing something you feel confident in gives you that additional spark you know that additional confidence that additional fire that additional spark whenever you put your favorite clothes on your favorite lipstick again listening to your favorite music or how thinking to yourself that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to while working on projects just give you an extra boost of confidence i truly sense the energy of you be on fire because now's the time for you to ignite that fire and do everything with the intention of doing it right no more half-hearted attempts towards project and work that needs to be com completed group number three Group number three, close your eyes, set your intention, and feel the tips of your fingers tingle while you light your inner spark. Imagine the moment when you achieve your dreams. Imagine the goals that you want to achieve. Imagine yourself flying high, being on fire, being so passionate, no additional gas is needed to get your fire going exactly that's in the next 72 hours you're gonna be more excited okay for your work for your life okay there's this energy of being on fire your sexual energies even are expanding okay and extend your passion to any romantic relationship you may have in your life as well as extending your fireiness toward yourself a life lived with passion is a life lived well group number three now you need to actually also to test your passion because with this energy on fire there's also energy of you want to be in a rush want to move fast you know fast 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 now if someone is challenging you in your ideas or way of life but remains unwilling to back off or understand you no amount of intention to bring enlightenment into the situation will do don't waste your energy don't waste your fire don't waste your passion don't waste your time on a bottomless pit it's not worth it it's not worth your time it's not worth your energy don't waste your time your energy into something that you don't think is good for you or bring some sort of uh, positive in your life don't waste something on toxic things don't waste something or your time on toxic people that just decided to misunderstand you but invest your more invest your energy invest your fiery passion into something into someone into a cause that truly wants to see you successful that truly support you that truly motivate you okay surround yourself with bright positive fire and don't waste your fire into something that is not gonna bring good in your life okay group number three they, they will just gonna just waste eat your energy okay that's uh the energy that i've got from uh, you group number three now you also have here Brecken. Okay, let's find this meaning of this Brecken card. You know, group number three, there is this energy about you in the next 72 hours that you're going to be invisible even though there is this fire okay and the, your angels want to send you message that 
with this card, do not be afraid to let yourself become invisible for a while. The world does not need to know where you are or what you are doing at all times. This is about keeping it for yourself, keeping it private for the things that you want to keep private, and don't let the world know all of your cards all at once, all of your plan, all of your strategy. The world doesn't need to know all the time. And it's okay to be invisible for a while, okay? Let yourself escape from the public eye until you are ready to return to it. So it's about giving yourself permission to take rest, to take break from social media or, um, you know, from public eye or take a deep breath, okay? Take a deep breath also. And it's okay not to let other people know your plan. It's okay not to look uh, visible. It's okay to be invisible sometime in order for you to take rest, to strategize your move, to think about your future, and actually plan your next move. Because this card is about a bracken. The mystical golden fern seed is believed to have the power to grant invisibility. So you have this ability to escape in the next 72 hours, to get some sort of clarification, to clarify your soul mission, to actually take rest and um, plan your next move. The actual existence of firm seeds has never been proven, but the magical reputation of the seed remains as does the fern's mysterious secret. So it is more than likely you know some sort of secret here, group number three, which is the secret of the universe. And in the next 72 hours, there is this energy about you want to manifest, wants to create manifestation, wants to do manifestation, wants to focus your energy to yourself, so not to the outer world, okay? So it's okay to be invisible, to take a step back and uh, meditate, pray, uh, do spiritual practices to attract um, manifestation, okay? Group and number three, that's also the message that your angels want to give you in the next 72 hours. Now, please be mindful that this is a general reading and this is timeless reading. So whenever you watch this video, the next 72 hours period start. And this video is uh, to giving you some advice uh, to going through that a moment. When the fire coming here, in conjunction with the bracken, this is pretty safe to say that this reading is accurate for you, group number three, showing us that you have a lot of ideas in your mind too right now about your next move. But it's okay to keep that for yourself, to keep it for yourself to keep it inside your heart and in your mind and to truly formulate the next move that you want to make related to your career, related to your next investment, related to your performance if you are a performer, okay? You also have here, manage to be glad. Group number three, your angels want to give you message that in the next 72 hours, there's this energy of um, feeling light, feeling joyful, okay? You're going to be very attracted to something that brings you a smile. It's also probably you want to want to eat your favorite food, uh, drinking your favorite coffee, or visiting new uh, coffee shops, or trying food at restaurants, or even just um, watching uh, TV shows or movie that truly make you smile, make you happy. Because... This is about your moment to create your own happiness, regardless of the conditions, okay? You have the power to create your own happiness. And in that moment, you don't have to always show and let the world know, okay? You can just take a step back and relax and enjoy your time, but still manage to be glad, okay? truly invest in your own happiness. In the next 72 hours, I got this energy of you uh, wants to truly feel happy, feeling satisfied, okay? There is a little bit confusion that's happening in your life for some of you right now, and you truly want to find a way out. But in the middle of the busy life, in the middle of doing the hard work, in the middle of your, um, you know, school, study, life, uh, busy life, or even if you already retired right now and you want to go to the gym, let's say, Make sure that every day you do something small just for yourself that make you smile. And it doesn't always have to be grandiose. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be big things. It is as simple as 
eating your favorite meal, drinking a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, walk in the nature, smell the roses, smell the flowers, going to garden, take a picture, dancing, okay? Watching TV, okay? Something that truly uh, give you some sort of this mood booster. Okay? Watching something on YouTube that you love to watch. That you love watching. Okay, group number three. But truly, make conscious effort. In the next 72 hours, your angels really want you to make conscious effort. The effort that you decide with your mind, with your heart, that you want to make balance between your mind and your heart and your spirit. That the message from your angels is... You have these opportunities in the next 72 hours to use that time to create your own happiness, regardless of conditions. Okay, group number three. When managed to be glad, coming in conjunction with the on fire card, okay? This, this is means that there is this very desire strong desire to even indulge yourself in something that truly pleasure truly creates some sort of pleasure satisfaction i truly see here in your card group number three okay You have here as well, sleep, slow down. Yes, 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 yes. With this card group number three, there is so much to fit into your life and sometimes it feels that there is not enough time to get it all done. You burn the candle at both ends and don't get enough sleep. Okay, some of you going through this time that you, it's so hard for you to sleep or you just not get enough sleep. Now, God is here. This is the message from the goddess. Goddess is here to say, sleep is my precious gift to you. Be easy on yourself and rest. Let me speak to you in your dreams. Let me heal your body, mind, and spirit as you sleep. So the divine God, your angels, going to send you a message, going to send you guides through your dreams when you sleep. So make sure you take care of yourself and be easy uh, to yourself and uh, take a moment to actually relax and be able to sleep. This card is message from your angel to encourage you to allow enough time to sleep. Stop chasing rainbows and surrender to the power of being instead of doing. In letting go, you will find that inspiration will step in and what was an effort will flow with ease. Exhausted and depleted, you will never reach that rainbow, but in dreams you may float on rainbow clouds of possibilities and learn new ways of being. So you probably feel a little bit exhausted uh, due to your uh, works, obligation, chores, homework, and anything else that this world gave you right now. But take a moment to truly enjoy your sleep and dream really well. And so then you will find new inspiration, new rest, and new energy in doing your life. Sometimes for this group, sleep does not come easily, actually. If this is the case, goddess encourage you to get out of the bed and go into another room with dimmed light. So dim your light and also sit quietly and meditate, following your breathing gently in and out. Eventually, you will be ready for sleep and can return to bed to journey through the night dreamscape with yourself feeling refreshed. Okay, you can start to maybe keep the room clean, 
and remove all electronic devices before you sleep and you can truly try to be relaxed I dim your light take a deep breath and just relax and you will eventually sleep so but this message in the next 72 hours you're so being encouraged to sleep well to take rest to find inspiration through dreams because your angels god the divine um gonna communicate with you through dreams okay you're gonna get some sort of synchronicities um message guidance for your work your study your next project your next um event your next big things okay your next book maybe you want to write a book okay through dreams through your sleep time group number three You have here as well new beginning group number three with the new beginnings card here in the next 72 hours i truly sense this energy of new beginnings this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea protect and nurture your idea as you would a baby so this is very good reading because when the sleep coming in conjunction with Brecken and manage to be glad, this is the time for you to actually rest and be invisible, you know, take rest, you know, not performing, take rest. But then that's actually going to prepare you for something new that coming into your life. And you're going to get that something new through some sort of inspiration that you will get through this being invisible, sleeping, take rest, dreaming. To find the time to make you happy, something relaxation. Maybe some of you also planning vacation to just, you know, uh, go out of town, go to the beach, go to nature. Maybe you already planned that or you about to plan it in the next 72 hours. Book a ticket or something like that. Or just, you know, thinking about going to the nature, go to the beach, go to the forest, go to the garden, go to the park where you can be in the nature too. But there is also energy about you inviting new beginnings. You're going to get some sort of ideas and protect that ideas. Protect your project. You don't have to tell the world right now even. Exactly. So now I get it. Now, with the new beginnings card here coming in conjunction with the Bracken, you actually going to get new ideas or new things or new project, new collaboration. And that collaboration, you have to protect, protect that connection with you and your ideas but you will keep having a good rest manage to have a good rest drink more waters make your mind keep have a space in your mind to receive that's the thing you're gonna receive in your sleep through your dreams some sort of ideas or solution if you want to solve a problems or guidance related the things that you've been thinking about, the things that you are so passionate about, or the things that you put all of your effort, energy, hard work, blood and tears into it. But that thing truly gonna give you some sort of new beginning. Some of you truly thinking about conceiving a baby, or some of you, this is about new ideas. This is about new creation related to your career, job, study, field, investment your plan, your next move, your next relationship, that's possible, new connection, something new here. Just because you know this person in the past doesn't mean they're not new person because this is about new energy, okay? I truly sense new energy in the next 72 hours. Start behind the scene, gonna come into you. All right, group number three, let's see additional messages here. You have six of cups, You have five of pentacles. You have the high priestess. You have four of cups. And you have knight of swords. With the five of pentacles, 
pentacles here some of you truly going through some sort of uh, struggle right now or um, need to solve some sort of problems or in the middle of you building your career or building your business or uh, try to pass the exam or certification or still in the middle of school or even already retired but you're still trying to solve some sort of things that's the five of pentacles energy and actually when it coming in conjunction with the bracken your moment to meditate to think to truly truly take time and not in a rush not following the fire all away you know all at once truly going to give you some sort of advantages because with that only you can have the power of the high priestess here the energy of the next 72 hours you know what the high priestess is truly the card about dreams about wisdom about secrets about spirit world and about inner voice so when the high priest is coming in conjunction with the sleep yes this is Synchronicity, this reading is pretty accurate for you, group number three, telling me that in the next 72 hours, some sort of dreams, some sort of signs, synchronicity is going to come to you. And you're going to get some sort of communication from the spirit world, which is coming from God, from the divine, from your angels, okay, to let you know some sort of secrets, some sort of guidance. And it's about you to tune deeply in to your intuition so this is about deep connection very very deep connection with your intuition the spirit world becomes to you but it takes dedication and discernment to enter those realms exactly so it is important to pray meditate and follow your spiritual practices and truly take time to have enough sleep to let the message come to you because the messages can come from everywhere through dreams, even through this video. Take this video as a sign, okay? For you to receive the message, the guidance, the signs from the universe, from God, from the divine, and from your angels. Now, yes, yes, this is a lot to us, okay? But then the rewards will be great. And one day you're gonna thank this video because through this video you got this message from your angel the rewards is gonna be big because you got the high priestess and it's in the middle of the reading it's in the middle position is the middle you're gonna be glad manage to be glad under the manage to be glad card with the four of cups here group number three in the next 72 hours there is this feeling about you feeling a little bit bored, okay? Feeling yearning something, craving something. And you need to follow that because that's tell you something that you want to achieve more, that you want to get more, that you want to do something different. So I encourage you through this message but from your angels to truly find a, something new to try, okay? Sometimes change is really good for you. Okay? Now, this is about you willing to take risks, willing to take action, willing to take, uh, you know, take another way and go out of the box to enjoy something that you normally not enjoy, to try new coffee, to try new food, you know, to spice up your life, okay? Spice up your bed, okay? <laughs> to truly maybe uh, dress differently or using new makeup or just, you know, um, if you don't like makeup, like do something differently, something that's really going to entertain you even, okay? Try something new, okay? Uh, to bring more uh, variety so then you will get some sort of inspiration and feeling inspired again. With the Six of Cups group number three, in the next 72 hours or um, whenever you watch this video and the next 72 hours period start, you're going to get in touch with someone from the past. This person will bring some sort of nostalgia you're gonna be in touch with your high school friend high school crush your romantic interest in the past again okay? someone that uh, truly probably part of your childhood or growing up or teenager maybe your family gonna get in touch with you you're gonna get some sort of message from your parents your family or even someone that truly have a feelings for you in the past this is also apply uh, for friendship or the people that have connection with you in the past okay so that's uh, the energies uh, behind the scenes in the next 72 hours for you, group number three. 
with the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords group number three. In the next 72 hours, there is this feeling of tension, okay? Sexual tension. In the next 72 hours, I truly see the energy of a feeling being inspired want to surround yourself with something that is sensual something that is beautiful something that truly um uh, make you feel alive make you feel uh, sensual make you feel wanted make you feel rich in romantic uh, moment okay there is this feeling of tension and high and low and um some juicy spicy things that you want to feel okay in life um then you gossip you're gonna hear some sort of gossip from someone i don't know it's not related to you but the gossip truly gonna just okay it's something to talk about okay or uh, something cool to watch uh, but there's this energy of what you want to stir things up want to try something new wants to create something different and wants to feel different in your life but um, when the knight of swords coming in conjunction with the six of cups that's possible that's related to this connection of nostalgia okay uh, you truly have some sort of secret admirer here uh, behind the scenes the energy of secret admirer i truly see and they truly have some sort of sexual tension uh, intimate moment that they want to have with you or they fantasize about you here group number three all right group number three that's uh, your reading for today please like this video give me thumbs up if you like this content please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my future readings um check out other group for additional messages you are also welcome to check out my playlist i have so many videos for you all my readings are timeless that you will absolutely love it thanks for watching group number three and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye